Hello everyone and welcome back to a kingdom clan and you guys might notice that the rules and roles are looking a little bit different here in the sides so I kind of gave it a little bit of a revamp there were some spelling issues and just some different rules that didn't have to be there or classes and stuff so I just revamped it a little bit uh, let me know if there's anything you think I should add or if I have done any other spelling issues. <laughs> I did check it but you can always miss things. So we are back here in Kingdom Clan and I did change a few factors like King Shade now being the royal king. I'm still gonna just kill him or kill him. Oi! No! No, no, no. <laughs> no, I hope he doesn't die. He's he's grieving right now. No, um, Royal King Shade. I'm still gonna just kill... What? Call him. Call him. I'm still gonna call him King Shade. Gosh, I, if he dies this episode, I don't even know. Oh, gosh. Um, And he does have his mate, who I am going to call King Lynx. Because Lynx is a king as well. Uh, he's just not the royal king. And then we have Crown Princess B, which she was um, mentored to King Shade, which is not how that works. I don't know if we decided that last time or if I just got confused. But she is supposed to be mentored by the, uh, the royal advisor because she is a uh, crown princess. Uh, other than that, we have healer, nightshade, and prince soul. So there shouldn't really be anything odd. And then I realized that Sandwich uh, is nearing the age of retirement, but he doesn't actually have any kittens. So I was like, oh, who doesn't either? And apparently Delta doesn't either. He kind of likes her, but you guys, um, Delta does not like Sandwich. <laughs> she does not like Sandwich one bit. Nuh uh. No Sandwich for her, I guess. <laughs> so it seems like, unfortunately, Sandwich will not be able to retire because he doesn't have any kittens to retire onto. Anywho, uh, let's send the kitty cats out on patrol let's start with healer nightshade i suppose and then let's go with delta uh prince soul you actually don't have any of your parents available right now but because he is a prince it kind of works differently he doesn't really have any patrolling rules other than just well, yeah, I don't think he has any patrolling rules, really. None, none of the royal family have that. Uh, Lynx has that, but not, not, uh, not their kids. So, but I do think they're gonna send him out with Knight Ingot instead, just so he's somewhat taken care of. And he admits that he's had a vision from Star Clan. Knight Ingot takes him aside, probably giving him a stern uh, talking to saying that you cannot speak of star clan in this kingdom uh, because they don't believe in star clan uh, well believe in they believe in star clan but they don't believe in um, in in what they do so to speak uh okay you are joking King Shade, I didn't mean to kill you. <laughs> I didn't mean to jinx you to death. <laughs> no. I literally jinxed him to death. What is this? <laughs> Shade, I'm so sorry. Okay. Um. So King Shade gazes up at Silver Pelt and finds that their grief has begun to lessen. Uh, and apparently he loses a life to a badger, which sends them traveling to Star, Star Clan. Okay. Uh, Elder Nutmeg picks themselves up to their nest and begins uh, a day anew. 
Uh, cats call out, but King Lynx can't be convinced to go back to the nursery. Not with their new litter of four kits made from them and Royal King Shade. They're taunting King Lynx uh, with what should have been. Though the blood loss did not make the uh, birth any easier for King Lynx. Wait, was she pregnant? Or he pregnant? Was he pregnant? I, I do not remember that. Was he? I guess so. Hold on. He was... Oh my gosh. I completely forgot about that. I'm such a fool. <laughs> I completely forgot about that. Okay, well... Princess Bee is going to be the uh, Queen Bee soon enough. I mean, she's going to be queen right now, actually. So, she is now the royal queen. Uh, bee. <laughs> okay, so we did get a queen bee, because... Wow, okay. Well, that's interesting. And apparently King Lynx had a another litter with King Shade just before he passed. Uh, okay, well... Let's let's see. So they have one polite little female. Now I am gonna have to see if I can find some names. Oh, she has she has uh, blue eyes actually. So I am going to call her Princess uh, Sapphire. Is kind of what I'm thinking here. Yeah, so this is Princess Sapphire. And then we have this female who's an attention seeker. Well, she's very cool. Very, very cool. Princess... Princess what is the question here? Um, jewel? No. Well, maybe. Yeah, Princess Jewel, I think. Uh, and then we have a, a a little male kitten. That's interesting. So this is Prince. A Prince... Uh, prince Abyss. I think. And you guys know these are all names that you guys have... Uh, uh... Okay, no, actually I just changed my mind. <laughs> <laughs> and the reason why is because he's actually Prince Flint. Because uh, I am going for kind of rock names right now. And then we have another little female whose eyes are also blue. Okay, so Prince, uh, oh. Princess... Princess Fur. <laughs> no, no, not Princess Fur. I don't think so. Uh... Mm. Hold on, I'm just checking. Yeah, we did use the name Jewel. Okay. Mm. Well, she's pretty pale, so... Uh, quartz, I think. Yeah, there we go. So we have... Uh, Princess Sapphire, Jewel, and Quartz, as well as Prince Flint. Wow! And we have Royal Queen B. Uh, which means, actually, that Lynx is now a knight. Once more. Uh, she is... or he has been demoted to just a knight, because he's no longer mate of the... the... Uh, royal king slash queen so that's interesting well that was quite the happening uh i can't wait to see where queen b goes from here she is confident and has an active imagination hmm well we'll see how that goes and prince <laughs> i was gonna say prince sandwich prince soul you're gonna go with uh knight ingot again and they gather some moss. How nice. 
Delta sandwich, you two can go. Uh, the rabbit is eaten like normal, that's great. And a nightshade, you gathered some stuff as well. Wow. Okay, well, that's great. Uh, the clan has a new apprentice, or cheers for the new apprentice. Okay, so we have some um, some kittens here who have reached the age of six moons. Quite a lot of them, actually. Uh, although not their other adoptive kittens, Poppy and Grass. So this is Aurora and Night Ingot. Yeah. Mm, this is their kits, so they obviously have to be uh, mentored to their parents. And actually, okay, Gil was already mentored, and Fish, I believe, was already mentored. So, Tsunami, you can go with your father, I think. And Flutter, you can go with your mother. <laughs> there we go, but okay, wow, so they look really great. We have Flutter, who is responsible and interested in clan history. Uh, Fl Fish, sorry, is wondering how Prince Flint is doing. And Tsunami, ooh, Tsunami. No, okay, so she's troublesome and curious about Star Clan. Huh. Well, that's interesting. And Gil is a playful mossball hunter. And it's asking Knight Lynx, a former king, about the warrior life. Uh, so I'm assuming that he's asking him about not the warrior life, but the, um, the like the royal life, I think. And Grass has white cough, so... And uh, it seems like he's in awe of Healer Nightshade's growth as a medicine cat apprentice. That's nice. Wow, uh, Princess Sapphire, you look absolutely amazing. She's polite and quick-witted. Uh, Jewel, oh wow. We have some really pretty kittens this time around. So she's an attention seeker and quick to make peace. Uh, she wakes up early to say hello to the Dawn Patrol, okay. Prince Flint, you are a daydreamer and have an ac active imagination. And Prince Qu or Princess Quartz, wow. She is pretty. She is a quick-witted bully. Oh my gosh. And she's trying to look tough. Okay, well, I think she's kind of a scary one, Princess Quartz. Especially being the youngest of all the royal lineage right now. Absolute youngest. She probably has a lot to prove. I mean, she has. If she ever were to want to be a queen, she would become. Uh, there's one, two, three, four, four uh, siblings in front of her, as well as the queen herself. Who, if she has kittens, then you know there's even more. Wow. So Princess Quartz, I think, has quite the um, quite the ambition, I would say. But uh, we'll we'll see where that turns out. So Gil and. Uh, Flutter, you guys are gonna go with Aurora. And Night Ingot, you're gonna take Fish and Tsunami. There we go. Do we have any other knights? We don't. Hmm. And, I mean, with so many new kittens now, and Night Lynx being in the nursery, I think Prince Sol would just go out alone. A loner? Okay. Okay, who is this? Finch? Oh, they just met met them? Okay. Okay, so that's that's a very pretty cat. I wonder if she's uh, from one of the warrior clans instead. Or at least used to be. Maybe she left the empire to uh, after they became an empire. And then she got curious about this. So, Sandwich and Delta. 
uh, they don't catch a rat, unfortunately. Anywho, um... Night Lynx has uh, thankfully made a full recovery. And as royal... Uh, as the royal queen finishes their mediator training, King Shade gives... Uh, King Shade? What is with... What... <laughs> What is with the king slash queen being named after the dead king? Or like, by the dead king or queen? This is ridiculous. Are, do the, are they like the only ones who actually are in Star Clan? It's the kings and stuff? Uh, gives them the no name Royal Queen Bee after their dignity. Okay, well, interesting. Um, Prince Sol has also become a warrior now. Uh... Wow, a nightshade became a full medicine cat? Oh yeah, no, right, that's because we do it by age, not by... Uh, that makes sense. Uh, a nightshade actually finds some petals while he's out. He's also been called in by Princess Jewel's worried parents, aka his own father. And unfortunately, uh, that worry was well-founded as... A Princess Jewel seems to have been have a wasting disease. No, I've heard of this. It's a permanent condition. Yeah. I hope they don't get as grumpy as Elder Nutmeg when they're old. Well, I don't think you're gonna get old. I believe the wasting disease just kills the cat at some point. Um, it's like a, a fully like you're you're. Yeah, it's a death sentence, basically. Uh, and you will be promoted to leader. Whoops. Uh, and that's about that. We are gonna kill you... A, uh, quite a lot of times here. Uh, sorry, Queen Bee, this is uh, nothing personal. It's just we don't believe in Star Clan, so you can't have nine lives. Boom, there we go. I swear, one day I'll just accidentally completely kill them. <laughs> that would not surprise me. Uh, also, I was thinking here in the... Um, in Starclan. Oh gosh, we had a lot more cats than I remember. But now that King Shade is here... Uh, I'm sorry, did we... Oh, I'm actually gonna change her Queen Snow's name to Royal Queen. There we go. Um... But I, I... I was thinking... If we... We did prevent fading on her. Okay, so we're gonna prevent fading on King Shade as well. All the royal kings and queens we prevent fading on. But I was also thinking, now that King Shade is here... I was kind of thinking that he would actually... See Ghost and chase him into the dark forest he is a royal queen or a, a, a royal queen a royal king and he definitely i mean even in because they don't believe in star clan right so even here in star clan the royal kings and queens have all right they can send all of these cats to the dark forest if they wanted to so he's gonna be like hey ghost you are kind of annoying uh, in real life, and I'm gonna send you away. And Ghost will be very, very frustrated, definitely. I unfortunately can't see his relationships, but I think at least Willow would not, um, not be sent there, but I think she would follow him there. I think she would be loyal and follow Ghost over here. So Ghost, I mean, I definitely love Ghost. I absolutely adore his story. And here he is trying to... Well, being very frustrated while being... Um, how should you call it? He's he's kind of... Uh, I'm thinking two seconds. <laughs> he's gonna try to... Uh, slowly push the clan, well, the kingdom's royal lineage in the path he wants. 
Definitely. But right now he's biding his time. Um, honestly? You guys. I am gonna name him King Ghost and I'm gonna prevent him from fading. And the reason why I'm doing this is because Willow uh, will say that Willow is basically giving her or giving him her life, pretty much, and naming him king. He's not the royal king, but he is a king. Uh, I, I, I really like Ghost's story, but we shall continue here in the present living world for uh, just a second of course uh so these two are gonna go out thankfully nothing happened uh this is prince soul interesting he's gonna go out with delta i suppose Qu royal queen bee well the queen won't go anywhere but sandwich you kind of have to well i could see her actually going with nightshade they gather up quite a lot of things, so that's nice for them. Uh, Night Lynx has recovered from birthing his litter. Gil no longer has a running nose, that's nice. Uh, Grass unfortunately died of white cough, which is horrible. <sighs> uh, and Poppy is now grown enough. Uh, and she was grabbed and dropped by an eagle. Well, thankfully she survived. What the heck? Her brother just died. She became an apprentice and then she was just lifted away by the stars themselves. What in the world? Okay, well, that's that's quite something. Um, I think the queen will once again go with Nightshade. Apparently they both got sore. <laughs> that is unfortunate. Um... We are gonna send these little uh, kitty cats out to uh, patrol with their parents, of course. And also, Poppy, you are adopted. Uh, I want to change your mentor. You're not with Night Lynx, unfortunately. I think... Um well, Night Ingrid loves mentoring, so she's wise and she's a fighter, so that's pretty cool. And wait, what? Uh, slips out of camp to visit Grass's grave? Oh my gosh, Poppy! That's so sad. That's so sad. Okay, well, I think Prince Soul will go with Night Lynx, his mother. Or his, well, yeah, his father. Uh, should they cross here? I think they will. And unfortunately, Soul is a dead. So I'm wondering. I don't know how, but I am wondering. If Prince's Quartz had something to do with it. Somehow. I don't know how she would have anything to do with it. As she is just three moons old. But I wonder if maybe she's been... Because she's bullying and quick-witted. Maybe she's been pressuring um, Soul to actually be a bit more reckless. Because he's nervous. Maybe she's been talking like, oh, your your father, Night Lynx, doesn't, uh, doesn't love you anymore. He only likes me, you know? Wow. Princess Quartz, you're a little, you're a little manipulator, you know that? Uh, Delta and Sandwich, you two can go. And I know for sure that Night Lynx... Well... Yeah, she's strict. Or he's strict, right? He's strict. So I'm thinking that he definitely wants uh, the queen to... Uh, I'm sorry, she's... Okay, she has a minor injury. But I think she would definitely pressure... Oh my gosh! Did you guys see that? Princess Quartz is up here talking to, to the royal queen. What in the world? Okay, well, that's interesting. She's just a little bit sore, but I was wondering if maybe she would actually pressure, or uh, if Night Lynx was actually pressuring Queen Bee to, uh, to take up a mate. 
So that's pretty interesting. Um, I'm gonna be back in two seconds. There we go. <laughs> Hello everyone again. So I'm back. Uh, I just wanted to get some water because, well, water is very important. So if you guys haven't drank a lot of water today, be sure to drink some water. It's really good for you. <laughs> and absolutely delicious as well. So, where were we? Um, Let's... Well, the patrols are actually out all of them. So, let's uh, skip another moon. Ooh... Okay, so Aurora just announced that they are expecting more kits with a Night Ingot. So that's very nice. Uh, despite the enforced nest rest uh, and how tightly their broken bone is bound, Poppy's injury is beginning to look concerning to healer Nightshade. And they've begun to plan what to do if the infection progresses further. Well, that's not great. Um... And Jewel died from complications caused by her wasting disease. Yeah, and the poor kitten was thinking about when she grew old. Well, what she was gonna do. She was planning her entire life ahead of her. And she didn't even make it past kithood, so that's really sad. Uh... And Princess Quartz is chasing fireflies around the camp while the older warriors sleep. Oh, that's so creepy. I mean, it's not creepy really, but Prince Joel, like Quartz is just living in her completely own life. Wow. Okay, well, Night Lynx is absolutely devastated. And feels as though her entire or his entire world has ended because of the death of Prince Sol. Especially considering that he was there when it happened and was fine with him going out on the Thunderpath, so... That might have uh, really, you know, upset him. Anywho, Princess Quartz uh, says Fish's real parents were rogues. Ouch! Um, that one hurts a little bit. Because neither of them are are uh, clanborn, I assume. Yeah, Aurora is a kitty pet. A night ingot was orphaned. <laughs> Quartz, you are not very nice. She seems to be very like oh, well, a stuck-up princess, really. <laughs> what? Okay, well, that that's, um, well, at least she has character. That's pretty cool, I suppose. Um, and Princess Sapphire just wants to grow up. Interesting. How's the royal queen doing? She is finding the responsibility of leadership to be quite the heavy burden. Maybe Queen Quartz can <laughs> convince her to let her be the, the queen instead, I, although I don't think... <laughs> I don't think um, Queen Bee would really accept that, huh? Although I don't think she would want to walk around with her brother Nightshade, especially after Soul's death. And they got sore again! This is ridic ridiculous. Uh, Tsunami, Night Ingot, and Fish are all going to go out. This is a recruit thing, so we're not going to proceed on that. Those are the only ones we don't proceed on. Just because I kind of want this... Uh, not clan, this kingdom to be a little bit more, uh, well, closed borders, I suppose. So, Delta spies a fat rabbit. We're definitely gonna antagonize Hush Clan, despite them being a little bit further away from us. Now it is Leaf Fall. Knight Ingot apparently hurt his paws. Tangle Honey has died. Uh, Aurora thinks she'll have a large litter and has moved to the nursery. <laughs> Queen Bee is no longer sore. Princess Sapphire has gotten kitten cough? No, that's horrible. Sapphire? Is she dreaming about being a warrior? Why? <laughs> Please. 
<laughs> what is with that? Oh no! And Quartz is probably happy. Do you, yeah. Would she be happy? Hold on. Show dead. You guys, would she be like not happy that Jewel died, but like happy that another position has disappeared? Oh, are we really going down that deep of a rabbit hole with Princess Quartz? And now Sapphire is sick as well. What what in the world? And if she dies as well, then there's only Flint in her way, isn't it? That's all her siblings. If Sapphire dies, a Quartz could... I mean, if... I, it, she would only have... What in the world? You're five moons old. How did you already get through, like... Oh my gosh. Okay, well, we're gonna... We're gonna keep going here. And poor Knight Ingot. <laughs> He's taking out the entire family because... Because his mate is expecting kids. Oh gosh. Well, that... Uh, those two are most certainly very um, prestiged here in the clan for being peasants. Uh, Ingot and Aurora, that is. Considering uh, the more kittens you have, especially if they're alive, then the more... Uh, sort of prestige you get. And I mean, they sure have kittens, and they're getting another litter now, so that's that's pretty interesting. Anywho, um, with a litter of three kits mewling at her belly, Aurora's long pregnancy has finally given them a night ingot, the expansion to the family they've been hoping for. That's lovely. Oh my gosh, Tsunami fell off a cliff and somehow survived, though not without breaking their leg. And Sapphire has died of kitten cough. Holy heck, what is happening? I, uh, okay, and Flint and Quartz have now become, become apprentices. What in the world? Prince Flint, you can't become a medicine cat apprentice. I'm sorry, but you weren't chosen. And the reason you weren't chosen is because Nightshade wasn't old enough. Speaking of which, maybe we should check, uh, pick one of these to be the healer. But uh, you can't. I'm sorry, but you can't. Uh, you can't become. You need to be a warrior apprentice. I'm sorry. Uh, and your mentor will be Knight Lynx, and so will Quartz's mentor. Interesting. And Quartz is trying to recruit the other apprentices for a quick adventure. Okay, well, sure. Sure. Um, I guess, I guess just her brother. Princess Quartz and F Prince Flint, uh, while exploring the territory, come across forbidden tunnels. As Princess Quartz and Prince Flint begin to make their way into the tunnels, they are suddenly grabbed by their scruffs. They hesitantly look up to find their mentors looking at them with disappointment. Okay, so their dad found them. Thank goodness. They are escorted back to camp to receive punishment, though they feel as though they're um, they should fear their mentor's anger more. Okay, so I bet you, considering Queen Bee, she's hoping that she's leading the clan well. She would probably be pretty soft on these two, but Night Lynx is pretty angry. Uh, and with him having lost so many things this year, like, wow, okay. I don't think he likes Prince Qu Princess Quartz. I'm gonna be uh, honest. Uh, obviously, they do like each other because that's just how Clan Jin's sort of thing works. But I will, um, with as much as I can, I will change to mediator and try to sabotage their relationship with each other. And the reason I'm doing this is simply for story because, well, they don't actually do this themselves. Uh, at least when it's parents like this. <laughs> Unfortunately, so I'm gonna have Sir Jet. I guess Sir Jet might actually. Do you think he likes quartz? He 
he doesn't, but he could learn to like her. <laughs> he could learn to like her. I think, I think, uh, maybe, just maybe... Or maybe Sir Jet actually likes a flint more? Because, unfortunately... Yeah, no, he doesn't like flint at all. He does kind of like Queen Bee, but he doesn't like Night Lynx or anything. So maybe you would actually want to... Well, he's childish and he's kind of jealous of Prince's quartz. <laughs> but he really does want to fix his own relationship. Well, not his own relationship, but he really does want to fix... Because uh, he believes Ghost should be the, the leader. He believes Ghost is the rightful king, despite him not being it, but you know. And here we have a troublesome little kitten who is going to be named something. <laughs> so let's pull up our names here. And this guy, I think, will be called Basalt, which is pretty cool because uh, he kind of has both that white and gray in it so basalt it is and then we have a another male who is impulsive hmm yes um okay we're gonna we're, we're gonna no okay no he's impulsive hold on um I'm gonna name him Slicer. There we go. And one little female who is noisy. Interesting. Okay, a noisy little female. We could name her. Uh. Oh, uh, no, I'm gonna name her, um, hold on, <laughs> she is going to be named Egret, I believe that's a bird, uh, naming up to her noisy nature, so there we go, definitely, whoops, definitely nice, like that, and we are going to send these two out once more, uh, oh gosh, okay, Queen Bee kind of got angry at Nightshade for being a little bit childish. Oh yeah, and let's see, do we actually want any of these? So we have a troublesome, impulsive, and noisy. I don't think Nightshade would really want any of those <laughs> to be his apprentice, not gonna lie. Um, Flutterfish and Tsunami are now considered adult. Poppy unfortunately died of an infected wound. Uh, and Gil is also adult now. Well, that is very depressing, but we do have a lot of new cats here. So both of Night Ingots and Link's adoptive kits were actually uh, killed. None of their actual kits were killed, like uh, blood kits were killed, I believe. I wonder if maybe they are not going to adopt if the possibility uh, arrived again because maybe they believe that because they weren't bloodborne they they shouldn't have adopted them i mean obviously we know that in real life that's not true at all <laughs> but for the drama's sake in this um playthrough maybe we shall say that night ingot and aurora are um yeah, they're teaching their kids about morals until they fall asleep. I, I could totally see them being like, um, we don't trust outsiders and stuff like that. Which, again, not at all a real thing in uh, in real life. <laughs> that has nothing to do with, with how a person is, obviously. Uh, so Basalt is wondering about the unknown. Uh, he's troublesome and interested in clan history. Slicer is impulsive and splashes in puddles while whining about being hungry. Uh, and Egret is yowling as loud as they can, which is a bit unfortunate, but she is actually quick to help. So maybe Nightshade, uh, he's thinking he's going crazy, he's not having a great time apparently. 
Are you having a good time with any of your siblings? He doesn't even know Quartz them. Uh, speaking of Quartz, we are, we are gonna do Night Links and Quartz and we are gonna sabotage their relationship just a bit longer. Or... You guys... Hold on. What if we actually sabotage both Quartz and Queen Bean's Bee's relationship? Oh, Prince, Princess Quartz is jealous now. Because if they get into the red, there's a chance for Princess Quartz to actually straight up murder Queen Bee to become the queen. Uh, of course, then Flint would actually become uh, the true king, which she obviously doesn't want. But uh, we shall see how that kind of works out. And Queen Bee, you are 17 moons old. We do finally have some adult cats here who... We have Flutter and then we have a Fish, who is wise, has a keen eye. And then Tsunami, of course, she is... He, she has a connection to Starkland. Okay, that's pretty cool. And then we have Gil, who's a playful, great hunter and a learner of lore. Uh, so Fish and Gil are kind of the... The ones who should uh, woo the, the queen if they want to. Well, yeah, if they want to, <laughs> really. And it seems like for now, Fish is definitely the one winning this woo game. But, um... Of course, they are very, very young. They're only a year old right now, but she's not two years old either at this point, so possibly that's fine. Um, hold on, okay. So we're gonna send out the ones we know are going out first. Princess Quartz, you and Flint are going to go with, I suppose, Knight Ingot. Uh, and they're fine. Gil and Fish are going together. Oh gosh. Okay, they're fine, they're fine. <laughs> Delta and Flutter are also going to get together. So this is Empire Clan. Uh, well, the Empire, not uh, they're not a clan, but I think we're just gonna avoid them. Okay, anywho, let's time skip another moon, and it is Leaf Bear. Interesting. Uh, so Lynx wakes one day, and she or he is feeling way better now. Sir Jet can't understand how an appendage that isn't there is itching so badly, but it is. Prince Flint got their paws stuck in a toon leg trap, and while they eventually escaped, their leg is heavily injured. Quartz, what did you do? That is my- like, how is every single one of her- This is ridiculous. She's re-enacting a move that they saw Knight Inga do. Quartz, there is no way you have nothing to do with all these cat's deaths. There's zero way. They're all just dying right in front of you, so you have an easy way of becoming queen. I am so confused right now. I am so confused. Okay, uh, wow. I don't even... Let's sabotage here a little bit more. I don't even know what in the world is happening right now. Okay, Flutter and Sandwich, you two can go out. Um, okay, apparently Empire, the Empire is not taking keenly to, um, to the clan right now, well, the kingdom. Uh, Princess Quartz isn't acting like their usual self. Uh, yeah, that's probably because she's like, killing all the cats. I don't know. Uh, we're not gonna proceed on this one. Queen Bee and Nightshade, you two can go and gather moths and stuff. Fire Clan, we're gonna antagonize, of course. Okay. Uh, okay, Night Lynx has decided to move on from the Royal King. And Aurora is fine from her litter now. Gil was out wandering and has gotten frostbite. Egret falls into a river but is saved by Aurora. Well, at least Aurora has got her kittens. 
Uh, as if the injury wasn't bad enough, the skin around Prince Flint's mangled leg has started to swell and feel feverish. You are kidding me. You are joking. There is no way Princess Quartz just killed her entire family except for the royal queen. There is no way. And Prince Quartz is now giving advice to Sir Jet. Oh. Like, I, I know I'm having uh, Nutmeg be the one to, like, mentor or mediate here, but I fully believe that this is... Oh, the sabotage failed, <laughs> unfortunate. But I fully believe that uh, Sir, Na uh, Sir Jet is the one to kind of influence Pl Princess Quartz right here. I don't believe... I, I mean, I don't think it's Nutmeg, but I think Sir Jet is kind of convincing Princess Quartz that Queen B should not be Queen. That they, their whole lineage is, is false. Uh, and she's the only one who can kind of set it straight again. Uh, of course, under the influence of herself, so that's a little bit. I think Princess Quartz is just gonna take a day training. Yeah, exactly. Uh, she just sunning for herself. Uh, she can definitely choose because she's a princess. <laughs> Aurora, fish, you two can go out. I'm not gonna proceed on any of the recruitment things. There we go. And this episode is almost done. Just one more moon here. So let's see, Nightshade has actually gotten White Cough, which is unfortunate, but he doesn't feel like any of these kittens are really made out to be medicine. Well, healers, I suppose. So Princess Quartz, you're gonna go with Night Lynx. Uh, they see a bunch of two legs swarming, and considering Lynx being strict, he's not gonna want his kitten to proceed on something like that. And Sir Jet, now you can finally sabotage between these two. <laughs> there we go. And hopefully, hopefully I say, hopefully we can get their relationship into the red because, well, that makes sense for the story. So that's just behind the scenes stuff, basically. We'll see how that goes. Knight Ingot and Delta, you two uh, find a loner who's interested in offering healing skills in exchange for shelter. Well, we can't accept that, so no, unfortunately. A sandwich and a queen bee. Okay, well, they're not gonna cross here, but that's an interesting one. Um, yeah, fire clan, we're gonna antagonize that. And unfortunately, Flutter got a mangled leg. There we go. <laughs> Interesting, and Hush Clan is very upset with us now because Sir Jet walked onto their territory. Sandwich, unfortunately, you're not allowed to retire. Tsunami pads along on all four legs for the first time in a long time. Their healed broken bone has definitely left their leg weaker, but it's manageable as far as they're concerned. Uh, Gil survived his frostbite. Princess uh, Prince Flint swears that they've been cleaning it, but their wound has begun to fester like weak old play prey. Interesting. Well, Flint, you're not doing very great. Uh, the royal queen. Whoops. Uh, let's see her relationships. I think her and Fish might get together at this point because she does have that pressure of really finding a mate so she can keep on her lineage. Yeah, so I think um, these two, Fish and her, are gonna become mates. Which makes Fish the official king of the clan. King Fish, which is actually really fun because it's like a kingfisher. <laughs> That's pretty fun. Pretty darn fun. So Kingfish is officially uh, here, and Quartz, you are- oh my gosh! <laughs> You're joking! Quartz! She's craving the taste of fish. I swear, 
Is fish in your, like, murder sites now as well? I don't even... What is even happening? Is she planning to, like, kill the queen and then get fish for herself or something? I don't even know. What? What is happening? I mean, of course, she wouldn't think of fish in, like, that sense. I think she just thinks of that being, like, a trophy now. Because he's king, not really anything romantic like that. But what what in the world? Quartz, I don't even... <sighs> well, you guys, a lot is happening here. And <laughs> I don't even know. Oh, and Tsunami! I didn't even realize. You actually have a... Um... You have a uh, scar, so you're Night Tsunami now. Despite being a troublesome cat who's connected to Star Clan. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Oh yeah, Sandwich, you can't you can't be you need to be a warrior. You don't have uh, cat toggles prevent retirement. And the reason for this is because he doesn't have any um, any kittens to to bear his lineage like Elder Nutmeg do does. They need to have kittens to retire. If the kittens then die or get lost or whatever, then that's, they can still be retired. But yeah. Anywho, that was quite a lot of stuff. So if you guys are enjoying this, then... Yeah, then please do consider subscribing. And with that being said, wow, there's drama in this kingdom. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.